Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Apple Intelligence on Apple iPad Pro M5. Okay, first we need to open up the settings. Now scroll down and find Apple Intelligence and Siri. And make sure that it's enabled. Also, if you are turning it on for the first time, uh, there is a chance that all the stuff, whole Apple Intelligence uh, software and features needs to be downloaded. So. Uh, you would see a notification um, under the Apple Intelligence sentence. Uh, you need to have your um, Wi-Fi enabled, you need to be connected, and then you need to simply wait until everything downloads. Uh, now, let's begin with the Siri. You can see that we have uh, the Siri requests. In here, you can first, of course, select the language. You can select the supported language from that list. Um, now, below, we have talk and type to Siri feature. Uh, in my case, I put it on Siri or Hey Siri to launch it. You can also select the uh, second option or you can completely turn it on off. You can also uh, press uh, the tab button uh, for Siri, press and hold to, uh, the side button to talk to Siri. Uh, and we can also type to it when we will double tap the bottom edge, just like that. You can see that it has appeared. Uh, now, uh, I'll stick to that function, uh, later I'll show you how to launch it. We can also enable allow Siri when locked. You can change the voice. You can enable the uh, Siri responses. Uh, you can also hang up thanks to the Siri. So, for example, when you are mm, in a call, uh, you can enable that function and then all you need to do is to, s is to say mm, hey Siri hang up and the call will be automatically ended. Let's enable that. Uh, but you need to uh, uh, be aware that it might only work for example only uh, on FaceTime. Not each app will support that. Um, next thing is a messaging with Siri. We can click on automatically send messages. Uh, to send messages quickly without Siri asking you to confirm before sending, turn on automatically send messages. It's up to you. Uh, and below we have read messages. Siri will also read messages using the languages in this list. This will not change the primary language. Siri listens to and responds it. If you want to click on add language and add it from that list. Okay, uh, now <clears throat> let's try to launch the Siri. Uh, First, maybe by holding the button, and here we have our side button, so simply hold on it, and now you can see those colors on the frames, and that means that uh, Siri is now uh, registering my voice. Now let's try with uh, the sentence. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Oh, I think that I have forgot to... Uh, register my voice, that might be the problem because it should work. Let's select off maybe for now. Okay, yeah, click on continue and now first we need to set our voice. So now we need to simply say those phrases mm, that we can see on the screen. Hey Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Hey Siri, play some music. Okay, now click on done. And now everything has been successfully registered. Now when I will say this phrase, Hey Siri, you can see that it has been launched, so everything went fine. Now, uh, thanks to the Siri, mm, we can do uh, many things. You could uh, see the example on the screen, those phrases. So, for example, we can mm, ask Siri about the weather, how to get somewhere. Um, for example, we can ask her to Google something because we need to get some information. Uh, let's try, let's first try mm, to set an alarm remotely. Uh, so let's ask Siri to do it for us. So let's launch her first. Hey Siri, set an alarm at 3 p.m. and name it Do the Groceries. 
All right. Thank you, Siri. Okay, uh, you could see in here on the top side of the screen that uh, it has been successfully set, but let's um, check it. Um, is it true? You can see that 3 p.m. do the groceries, it's enabled, so everything went just like it should. Now let's try with something else. Also using the series, let's try uh, to ask her about the weather. For example, in New York. Hey Siri, what's the weather in New York currently? Thank you, Siri. And as you could see, we had our answer. It's currently 12 degrees. Uh, so that's an example how you can use the Siri. Of course, there are also other things, but I'll leave it to you to find out those features. Um, uh, next thing, uh, let's open up the settings. Let's leave the Siri for now. Uh, because next things uh, on the extensions, we have, for example, the Chat GPT. Uh, Chat GPT is uh, a, an AI bot. Uh, and we can also ask him basically about anything that we uh, want. We will get um, answers from him. We can search the things in the internet. Uh, I'll show you how to do it. Mm, uh, first, click on use Chat GPT and we need to set it up. Click on next, uh, click on enable. Uh, you can also um, sign in into your ChatGPT account. Uh, it's completely for free. You don't need to pay for anything. Uh, but if you, uh, you'll need to pay if you want to use the ChatGPT Plus. If you click on that, you will have to pay monthly for a sub. Uh, currently in my case, it shows the price in uh, Polish Zlotys. Uh, when it comes to US dollars, it would be like $25 per month, something like that. Uh, okay, mm. we can also download ChatGPT uh, as an uh, app itself. We can click on open, just like that. Now let's simply wait, click on continue. And now, as you can see, we have the temporary chat. Mm. We can manually uh, type our sentences, just like I have said before, we can uh, type anything in here. He can even do, I don't know, mm, our homework uh, or search for the information. So mm, let's try to do something with it. Uh, and also let's use voice comment. Mm, let's say that we want to know mm, who was, actually no, when uh, the first iPad mm, was created by an Apple. And we should get our answer, so let's try to ask ChatGPT that question. But first, we also need to have an account. And now we need to use, let's click on continue. And in my case, I'm going to use the Apple account. And now I need to sign in using the passcode. Okay. All right. Now let's wait a little because, because it needs to load. Okay. Uh, and now mm, let's ask that question. I click on allow. And when was the first iPad created by Apple? No, I don't want that. When was the first iPad created? No, I need to access the microphone. My bad. When was the first iPad created by Apple? Okay, and as you can see, we have our answer. And that's of course uh, one simple example of how we can use the chat GPT. He can do much, much more, but I'll leave it to you to find out 
uh, what you can do with it. Mm. Also, if you want, you can uh, send in pictures from your gallery, simply click that plus button. You can also even create an image. Uh, you can select the thinking option, so uh, the chat GPT will think for a little bit longer, but we will get uh, better answers. Uh, let's try to um, send them some um, picture from our gallery. Let's give him a full access. And for example, let's send this photo. Let's select that. And we can also add some description. So uh, we can tell him to generate a similar photo, for example, uh, to this one. So um, let's do it. Okay, maybe something like that. Let's send it. And I think that it should be done any second. Uh, it might take a little bit because, you know, he needs to generate um, the photo. Mm, so we'll see you once it's done. Okay, now the photo has been generated. You can see that it's really similar, but this time instead of a fox, we have a monkey. Of course, if you want, you can save it in your gallery. So everything also went successfully. I also highly recommend trying ChatGPT on your own. Of course, remember that it's not only on the iPad. Uh, we also have it on PC, Android, basically on any, uh, almost any device. <clears throat> okay, let's get back into Apple Intelligence and Siri. Uh, that was the chat GPT. Uh, I, have sh I have shown you how to mm, upgrade. Mm, another cool thing mm, is a possibility to use the chat uh, GPT and the Apple intelligence in notes, for example, to extend uh, the writings, for example. Let's create a new note, uh, new folder, new note, uh, and now. I would like to, not to draw, but uh, but simply type, okay. Um, now you can see that in here we have this icon, we can click on that, and uh, we have the writing tools, mm, this is the AI. And now we have things such as proofread function, rewrite, we can make the text more friendly, make it more professional, we can concise it, uh, summarize it, mm, select the key points, mm, edit, make it a list, and even create a table. If you click on compose, you can compose it with a chat GPT. Describe what you'd like to write and chat GPT will create it for you. So uh, let's use that function first, simply tap on that. And now let's say that uh, mm, we would like to mm, have an article about mm, history of the car, of this beautiful invention that everyone uses. So let's uh, tell it, chat GPT to do it. So mm, write an article about history of car now send it he needs to generate it so it's going to take a little bit but simply be patient all right you can see that it's still going we have a beautiful article let's wait until it's generated fully okay uh, in here on the left side you can see mm, suggested uh, things that you can do with this text uh, but now uh, let's close that <clears throat> let's select everything uh, yeah just like that okay now let's select the AI icon uh, now 
You can describe your change, but uh, let's use other feature. For example, let's make it more professional. It's going to be generated once again, so we need to wait. Okay, if you want to save, click this button. Uh, and now let's try to, for example, uh, shorten it a little. <clears throat> so let's try to shorten the text, send it, and it should be generated once again. Yeah, it's much, much shorter than previously. If you want to save it, hit this button. Pretty easy thing. So that's how you can use the mm, AI writing. Mm, and the last thing that I want to show you is the playground. Uh, simply open it up, click on continue. And, and now in here, we can describe an image or add a suggestion from this list and for example, create our uh, own AI photo. Mm, let's uh, describe the image, what we would like to create. So let's say mm, a cat on a surfing board on a beach, something like that. All right, let's send it. Okay, you can see that it already has been created. Uh, we can also, of course, add uh, more things, more suggestions to this photo. So let's say it will be like an astronaut cat. And you can see that he has a suit now on. A really, really uh, cool thing. Let's also, let's give him a baseball cap. <laughs> okay, and you can see that it also has been successfully created. Uh, if you want, you can also uh, paste the photo from your, uh, from your gallery. Let's try to do something with it. Let's use this. A fox that I was using before. So now we have like uh, we have combined the fox and with the cat. It looks really cool. Uh, if you want to save it, click this button. Okay, and I think that it has it should have been already uh, saved in our gallery, or maybe not yet. But let me check that quickly. Uh, but first I need to find the gallery. Mm. Okay, here it is. Uh, okay, not yet, not yet saved. Mm. Click right in here, okay, and click on save image. You can even see that in my case I already have some uh, characters created. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.